Hey guys and welcome back to Seraphic Craft. Uh, I'm Wobbling Wookie, also known as the Occasionally Good Gamer, and here's the Nether Portal we set up last uh, last episode. And today we're going to be working on a little home just here. So as you can see, I've just laid out the area and prepped the floor. I'm just starting on a bit of grass on the side because I think I want to turn this concrete powder to concrete. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this area in. And then I will come back once I've done that and we'll have a think about what we're going to do from there. Alright, so we've just filled this area in now and I've just surrounded it with a bit of dirt just so that we can pour some water over this without getting it on the path because I'm still not quite sure whether I want that to be concrete or concrete powder. Um, I don't know, the smoother texture might be nice, but I will wait and see what you guys think. So I'm just going to start just chucking some water down quickly. And just convert all this lot. Okie dokie, I like that. I do like that. Now, night's coming, so I'm just going to take a sleep. And then we're going to make some sea lanterns and shove those in there. And we'll see what that looks like. And I might also just lay out a few pillars to get an idea of what it is we're going to do. Alright, so we've started putting this together. As you can see, I've put some lamps in. I've started putting some shapes in. I'm, mm, I started doing it in grey. I think I might change that. Might change that to a slightly lighter colour. Not sure what. Maybe, actually, maybe a darker colour. Not sure. We'll see. But before I can do that, because I'm going to be curving over and putting bits up the top. I need to convert a lot of concrete powder to concrete. So not only have I made a load of concrete, like three stacks of each of these colors, um, I've decided on the first like facade on this on this building. So we're going to start with a nice neutral palette. You know, take that round the base and then we'll get something a bit more colourful up above. Uh, you'll also notice I now have a beacon with jump boost. Because uh, I was thinking it's going to make my life a lot easier for jumping about whilst I build this. So, I'm going to go ahead and make these adjustments. These orange blocks are just here for scaffolding. Um, so I'm going to carry on and take this around. And we'll see what this ends up looking like in a minute. done and I do like it but I've had an idea on this to give it a little bit of depth and a little bit more detail um, I'm gonna have a little play have a little fiddle change this up a little bit all right guys so I have changed it up a little bit from what it was and we're going to turn around now and we'll fly back and you can see what I've done so far to the first floor or to the ground floor as I'm from the UK. Um, as you see, I've changed the grey out for the orange behind the black stained glass. 
with some sea lanterns in there. And then in the inside, we've carried on with the orange. So it contrasts nicely with the black there. And we've got some nice geometric shapes going on. So my next step is to put a little first floor in. Um, and then build up from there. So let's carry on with that, shall we? So I'm going to use some light grey concrete again. For the floor, where did I put that one? There we go. Grab a decent amount. And ooh, not going to make that. Let's try that again. As you can see I've been making some more orange concrete. Right, so I want to step this in there. Bit of orange missing just there. It doesn't really matter, but we'll put some in anyway. And then right up to there. Let's take that one out. I want to i put a bit of an angle on these corners here. So maybe we'll do something like that. Yeah. Something like that will do. That's annoying. I almost made that, but not quite. I'm going to run out of rockets before long. I know I will. It's all right. I've got plenty more. I can always make more. So, okay, I'm going to carry on, put those corners in, then fill the floor in. So now we've got the floor in, and I'm not sure what color we're going to use next. Um, let's have a quick look shall we so as you can see I've got the dark blue which I quite like the light blue not sure on that um, could continue in the orange but I'm thinking a different color I don't know about the green so what's Whee. Let's go land over here. So we've got the green. And the blue, I think it's good. I think the blue is winning it for me. The dark blue. Not the light blue. I don't think the light blue is strong enough. I think it's yeah, and the orange is just the same. So the deeper blue it is, so I need to go and make some more blue concrete. Okay. Well, you know what I'll be doing. Okay, so what I've done is I've just put that first row of blue in. And I think that looks really nice. Sets off nicely against the orange and the black. And just brings another colour into the area quite nicely. So we're going to go with that. Then we're going to get some glass. Don't know quite what colour we're going to stain it just yet. And then we're going to build a little water tower, water elevator um, with soil sand. Just come up here. And then we'll put the bed up here. In fact, I would say it's ready for the bed to get moved up here now. There's my bed. Now where do we want to sleep? Oh, I've made a mistake there, haven't I? Something's off. I'll have a look at that in the morning. Let's see if I can get to sleep. Yes, I can. I thought I might not be able to because there's quite a lot of mobs around right now. Hopefully, quite a few of them will die off now. Let's just fly away a minute. Yeah, I like the way that's looking. Yeah, I think that's looking good and it's lit quite nicely. There's a lot of light in here. And the shadows work quite well in here as well. 
Okay, so yeah, I'm going to go and get some soil sand and then we'll use some glass or make a little water elevator here. Getting down isn't too much of a problem because it's not high enough to kill you, even if you spawn without anything. Uh, so I'm not too worried about that. I can always put a slime, some slime box somewhere. Uh, at some point we'll put some glass and a roof on the top. But as I say, just now, I'm going to go and find a little bit of soul sand. I better empty my inventory first though, I think. So guys, as you can see, I'm not letting my uh, creative juices run wild here. Um, I've put up some white pillars, a little bit of a blue shroud, and obviously, as you can see, I've put in some lights. Now we're going to have a quick look from down below. Okay, so what you'll see is I've recessed these lights, and we'll probably put a little bit of glass in front of them just to cover them up slightly. Um, make them blend in a little bit more, but let's go and take a stand back and see what it looks like a bit. Oh, I'd say that's coming together. There may be a need to do something around the front there, around those edges, just to bring that bottom edge, ledge out just a little bit and just give it a little bit more shape. Uh, but we can work on that later on once we've got the rest of the dome up and we can see a bit better what that's going to be looking like. Um, so I'm going to carry on and do a bit more of that right now. It turns out I'm a bit of an idiot. I thought I was recording and I wasn't. Um, so I have gone and got myself some soil sand. I have put in the water elevator here. So you can see I've got the glass panes coming up the side just to keep it in. Just walk in the corners there. Just poop straight up to our bed. So I'm quite pleased with that. That looks quite cool. Our next job then is going to be to build up the next floor. So I'm going to work on maybe some pillars a few arches over the top or dome maybe we'll see how it goes so guys um i have a confession to make um i spent probably a couple of hours last night building up the roof and then i logged in today and decided i didn't like it so i've deleted most of that video uh, and I've rebuilt the roof again um, and yeah let's show it off shall we so here's the interior which I think is quite nice you can drop through the roof and straight into the water so you won't hurt yourself if you're flying in and you land on the roof uh, let's just take off and get a good look oops preferably not just come on take off there we go Right, and the sun is setting. That's going to be quite nice. So we'll be able to see it lit up. So there we go. We've got a nice blend of the orange and blue. So what I did originally, I just had a load of dark blue up there. And it was really overpowering. Um, and so I decided to bring some of the, the orange up into it just to add a bit of extra color. Uh, and I t stripped back some of the roof as well because it was just there was just too much of it. Um, then I thought I'd just adding a few leaves just for some decoration, just to cover up these blocks as these uh, the sea lanterns as well. Sorry, my mind went blank then. Uh, and then we got a nice bit of white to finish it off. And obviously, if we ever want to, we can carry on up out of here. But I'm not sure I want to. Oh, I didn't land in it. Oh well, you should be it. You are able to land in it. Every other time I've done it, I've landed in it. Uh, let's have a quick sleep. Can I have a quick look in the daytime as well. There we go. So I'll come back a bit slower this time. So we're going a bit fast. There we go. That's a bit better. Take a quick walk down here. I know, Mr. Zombie, you're gonna make it to me, or you're gonna no, you're gonna die before you get here. So I'm not entirely convinced on it still, but it's significantly better than what I had before, um, and it will certainly do as my first resting place. 
uh, in the game. Well, second, I suppose, if you count that hut. But now I'm in a position I can take that all down. Um, I'll leave the shulkers in there and the uh, chests in there for now. But let's just trim all of this. So we don't need this here now. So next job is storage room of some description. So probably not going to go for automated just yet. I could. I've had a little bit of a mining session. You may notice I've now got haste 2. The beacon has been moved down below. We'll have a quick look down there in a second. You can see what clearing out I've done. Uh, I did manage to find a few diamonds. Uh, but of course some of what I've cleared out I've already found some of the diamonds down there so yeah but still I've got 21 so far and I have got four ore that I haven't broken yet so let's do that oh any fall down there no just just some wood not quite exciting. Uh, but we got another 7, so now we've got 28. I need to make another helmet because, um, yeah, I went to go and fix my Silk Touch pickaxe and I fell in the wrong part of the uh, gold farm and got killed by entity cramming. Fortunately, managed to find everything else but my helmet, so we need to get another helmet. Um, now I've got enough diamonds to make that though, so that's a bit better. I also lost my shovel, so I've been using an iron shovel, but we've got enough diamonds now that we can make another one of those. Yes. Um, and then hopefully we won't lose them this time. I may have lost them a couple of times already, as I've said before. So let's quickly just pop downstairs. Uh, one of my next tasks is obviously going to be to put some water lifts in to get up and down nice and quickly. But for now, I just have the stairs. Really exciting, I know. But simple, but effective. Um, and yeah, I've cleared out all of this area here. I'd say I found uh, 28 diamonds, about 9 or 10 stacks of redstone, some iron, some gold. All that good stuff. Um, so that will get us going. So I could do, might do some automated bulk storage. So cobblestone, stone, all of that lot. The stuff that we're really going to get loads of as we're mining and we're clearing areas out. Um, but I may also just burn some of it because from what I understand there is a ridiculous amount of stone available on this server and not everybody needs it all. Um, so a lot of it is going to be unnecessary. It's probably the right word. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to obviously run back up the stairs. I am going to go to the end. I'm going to go and make myself a new helmet uh, and a new shovel. However, for now, this is where I must leave you. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye. I will see you in the next episode of Seraphic Craft. Mm -hmm.